Hi, would you consider a trade? Get open. you! Enemies of the air, beware. Back to break more valuable school property. I said move along. Welcome to Charms class. Today we shall be learning the Scourge charm. Yes, Miss Granger? I was just wondering if you could, uh, tell us something about the Chamber of Secrets. I deal with charms, Miss Granger, not myths and legends. Please, Professor, we all want to hear. Oh, very well. There were four founders of Hogwarts, Godric Gryffindor, Salazar Slytherin, Helga Hufflepuff, and Rowena Ravenclaw. Slytherin wanted to admit only the wizard-born students to Hogwarts. The other founders refused, and as a result, Slytherin left the school. Yes, Miss Granger? He built a secret chamber in the castle of which the other founders knew nothing with a great monster to guard the chamber from within. The legend states that one day, Slytherin's true heir will return to open the chamber and control the horror within. And then, all who are not wizard-born will be purged from Hogwarts. All nonsense, of course. Now, back to magic reality. Mr. Potter, perhaps you'd like to step forward and demonstrate Scourge for the class? Glad to, Professor. Try not to focus on all this Chamber of Secrets balderdash. Concentrate on the symbol in front of you. The wand is about to move its way around the symbol. At the exact point when the wand passes over the arrows, you'll need to hit the corresponding arrow key. This exercise has three levels. In each level, you must successfully hit all of the arrows in sequence. Ready to try? Round one, go. <laughs> Done, Harry. You've advanced to the next level of the lesson. Five points to Gryffindor. Round two. Go. Well done, Harry. You've advanced to the next level of the lesson. Ten points to Gryffindor. Round three, go! Give it another try. Don't waver, Harry. You almost have it down. Well done! You've completed all of the necessary exercises. Fifteen points to Gryffindor. Well done, Mr. Potter. You've successfully learned Scourge. Now it's time for you to test your newly learned knowledge in the Scourge Spell Challenge. Welcome, Harry Potter, to my Scourge Challenge. To complete the challenge, you must find the Completion Star, which can be found several floors below us. Try to get to it as quickly as you can. If the challenge timer reaches zero before you have the Completion Star, you lose the challenge. Along the way, you'll find Challenge Stars. Collecting Challenge Stars will boost your timer and score. I highly recommend you try to find all of them. 
Try to get the completion star with as many seconds remaining as possible. The higher your score is when you complete the challenge, the more house points I will award you. Ectoplasm is an unpleasant greenish substance left behind by certain ghostly beings. In some places, it will block doorways and openings. You can cast Scourge to get rid of it. items that have been trapped by ectoplasm.
Troublesome and annoying creatures they are. If they touch you, they will bite, so try to avoid them. Rictus Emperor will stun them.
Mr. Potter, you've completed my Scourge Challenge. The remaining time now becomes your personal high score. The weekly house point ceremony is starting soon.
Ops. Now. Congratulations, Harry Potter. You've mastered the Scourge Spell Challenge. 50 points to Gryffindor. You're welcome to continue playing this challenge, but you'll be awarded no more house points. This is the door to the Scourge Challenge. Hello everyone. Looks like it's time for another house point ceremony. Let's see which house is ahead this week. Oh, it appears that Gryffindor is in the lead. Harry, it looks like you get to visit the bonus bean room.
Harry, I want to investigate the scene of the crime. Filch usually guards the hallway where his cat was petrified, but he's away, so now is our chance. Do you really think there's a Chamber of Secrets? I believe Flitwick's story, even if he doesn't. And Dumbledore himself couldn't cure Mrs. Norris. I think that whatever attacked her might not be human. Here we are, at the scene of the crime. It can't hurt to look around, since we're already here and Filch isn't. Remember all the water that was on the floor? Where had it come from? From in there. Let's have a look. I can't go in there. That's a girl's bathroom. Oh, Ron, there won't be anyone in here. This is Moaning Myrtle's place. She haunts one of the toilets. It's been out of order all year because she keeps having tantrums and flooding the place. I wish people would stop talking about me behind my back. Who can the heir of Slytherin be, though? Who'd want to frighten all the non-magical folk out of Hogwarts? Draco Malfoy. You heard him call Hermione a mudblood. But how do we prove it's him? We'd need to sneak into the Slytherin common room and ask Malfoy a few questions without him realising it's us. <laughs> but that's impossible! All we need would be some Polyjuice Potion. It transforms you into somebody else. We could change Harry into a Slytherin. No one would realise it was really Harry. Two of the potion ingredients are a bit tricky, I'm afraid. Powdered bicorn horn and shredded boomslang skin. Harry, I'll need you to get me some. Any idea where I can find some? There's some bicorn horn in Snape's storage room. I'm not sure about the shredded boomslang skin. I'll need to check at the library. Lovely. Molting boomslangs and corridors full of goo. This should be enjoyable.
portrait of the Gryffindor common room. Take care. Ugh. <sighs>